That's a massive I just arrived. He went for a hole there, boys, that was not there. Oh. Look at the spectators. This is frightening stuff. Alan McNish is still in the car. And first glass, guys, I don't think the gap was there. Let's take a look down through the Dunlop curves. He goes inside Bernard. That's for the lead of the race. It wasn't there. I mean, we're talking about it. It's really difficult to see out of that car, and it just... Peter Aronson tries to get out of the way, but the leader is blocked. And there's contact... Postiglione's car, I fear, that's up the escape road. And straight away, I think the officials are going to have a look at that. And there was contact between Maron and Blomstedt and a red flag. The race is stopped. The race is stopped because it's taken barriers down. And there is obviously... Straight away. services around the country. An awful incident involving an Aussie race car and Brendan Tucker, check this out for a roll that gains momentum. Hey, can you count that? Actually, oh, these blokes up here can't count for that sort of number. Nine and a half. That was a lot. This is extraordinary. Now the good news is that Brendan got out of the car all okay. I just kind of couldn't figure out which way north was, but uh, otherwise fine. That's amazing and testament to the strength of the cars. So it's all going to play out this weekend, folks, we are going to have a huge weekend. You can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go ahead into that fence. That is an, a horrible impact. Wow. All right, let's go on more from Elio Castroneves' point of view. You can see Mike was trying for some reason to go on the inside. Wow, he almost collected Anna Beatrice. Now from Ryan Hunter Ray's car. So you can see that he got hit on the inside and up over the top, and you can see Ryan Hunter Ray moving his hands, and he looks up in front of him, and he goes, my gosh, I can't believe that. Oh, wow. Rain falling, you can see the rain. Oh, Very no, narrow, no that way. was not going to happen. No way. Your target's no high. Way. And oh, they're still at it. They are still at it. Now, these two boys are going to calm it down. Boys, bro. Oh, my oh, God. God. That's not on. That's the lunacy, boys. Yeah, that, that's just crazy oh, stuff, too, guys. It's one thing to have a go and not get it right, but to carry on like that is lunacy, and they should be slapped over the wrist. Stop look again. Stanaway makes yep. the move. The block's there. There's no room. No, but he he, he moved weight. That was a that was a bad move there by uh, by Pye, I'm afraid. But and he should have moved over that far. Then there was more contact on the exit. This was yep, the no. run. He's blocking the line. Stanaway's having a go. Open wheeler. It launches. I can't off believe that thing wasn't damaged then. I mean, that was an amazing recovery by Stanaway to get through there. Well, he made it around the corner and then it kept going and. Nick Perkett, we said just sit back and wait and watch. Look at all this, that's one hit. Perkett used, Perkett used his brain here big time and... Uh... He needs to absolutely hook it up now, this is so close. In he goes, Solberg into the joke lap, into the, the right hand, into the left hand, extra swing.
rings around the box. Or Solberg from wide. It's going to be a race to the line. Who's going to take it? Two goes to call. It's Solberg takes it. A hundredth of a second. Unbelievable. Solberg takes it. One hundredth of a second. Here we go. Look, this is it. So you can see Solberg just searching for tracks and trying to get it to bite up. Excellent. Look how close that is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. If he'd mounted the transponder, X.